When I came to this country, Aparna was three years old. When I started to teach, my mother noticed that Aparna was learning all those pieces by herself, watching, and Aparna needed no encouragement. She just took to it like duck to water. And then, when Ashwini was born six years later, we met our teacher, Alar Milwalli, the great dancer. And the two of us became students together. So I was 29 when I met her. And I said, I will start from the beginning because I have never seen any, a dance like this and I will never have this opportunity. We became students together. So it's a special relationship. If I'm the root, she's the trunk of this organization. Ragamala is a dance company based in the South Indian classical form of Bharatanatyam. Bharatanatyam has ancient roots, yet it absorbs the nuances of each practitioner. It changes with each person and is passed down very carefully in a lineage. I've always loved it. I have always wanted to practice it very deeply. It's also been a very strong point of connection between me and my mother, and it keeps me connected to a place I feel is home. And so when one is able to pursue something they love in a very genuine state, it feels very rare. And I feel very fortunate. I was literally born into this dance company. Uh, it was started by my mother, Rani, in 1992. Since I could remember, there has been music and dance and artists in our lives. So it's been a really integral way for me to connect with being Indian because I was born and raised here in the United States. And that can be a confusing experience, especially when your friends and people around you don't really understand the culture you come from. So through dance, you're able to really educate people about this culture in a very unique way that is entertaining as well as educational. One, two, three, four. Good. Okay, good. See how much different that looked? Lineage is a massively important part of Bharatanatyam. So there's always been a school and it's very small and it's very deliberately small because we'd like to give a lot of attention to each student. But if you think about it, we also teach these girls confidence at the importance of women run companies, how to communicate in certain ways. So we really pride ourselves on teaching these girls from a young age life lessons that go beyond dance. Correct. At the end. Yeah. And then too, I it cuts and then I you cut into I you. Yeah. You can shorten yeah, that. Yeah, you can shorten it. Yeah. And just to the very end of that. That's good. My mother and I collaborate in every part of Ragamala. So we create together, we practice together often. When we don't practice together, we watch each other and give each other feedback. We uphold the lessons that we learn from our teacher together. It feels really, really special to share something as an adult, to share something with my mother and my adult sister. It's not an adequate word, but it feels very beautiful to have this incredibly strong, supported relationship. We're very lucky to work together as a family. I do, it's very important to our work because the intergenerational nature and how we feed off of each other and how we each have very specific experiences with our Indian culture and our American culture all feeds into the choreography. We are open on Friday. We have rehearsal during the day. We're open in the evening. And we have our performance on Saturday. It's a blessing because we have a lot of shared experience also to draw from collectively. And we communicate in a way that I think only a family can understand. It's almost like you don't have to talk all the time and you know what the other person is thinking. So I think to our specific company and our work, it's extremely important. The way that we create and the way that we, the model of the company, it just, it, it was built on a family. I happen to have a family where we are all deeply in love with one art form, 
What family offers you is a very safe sounding board, and that is a very rare thing. Creating art can be very isolating, and so to have people who you love and trust around you while you're doing so, it can be incredibly heartwarming and frustrating and challenging in a wonderful way. I grew up in a culture where dance was not allowed after a certain age. So I had to quit. My whole life was planned. My dad was a scientist, but he checked with the astrologer before everything was done. So the astrologer said I would get married at a certain age, that I would have this many children, and that that's it. There was no future. If I had lived in India, that would have been a full stop for my life, except be a housewife and a mother. But coming here gave me an opening. I believe in destiny, because you can plan as much as you want, but destiny waits for you. And I got this opportunity to study from the world's best artist, and then to do it with my children. Every day when I practice, I am alive and I think, oh my God, I have this opportunity to do this. All of the opportunities in life has come to me through dance. And so I want to give it the best and I want to work on it until I die. And I think that that's my passion.